applications of indefinite integral equations in daily life. We have done the applications of differential equations in daily life. Now I'm gonna show you some applications of integrations in daily life. So first applications of indefinite integral equations in daily life. Indefinite integral is normally used to find the displacement, velocity and acceleration of an object. There is a complete section of indefinite integral in this course. If you still don't remember, go back and check indefinite integral section. Indefinite integral are the equations without specific limits. It has no definite limits. Normally we used integral equations to find the displacement, velocity and acceleration of any object, uh, whether it is car, a rocket in the space, or aeroplane traveling in the air, or any micro object, electron, proton. S stands for displacement and derivative of displacement equals to velocity. When I take derivative of S with respect to time, it equals to velocity and derivative of velocity equals to acceleration. Derivative of velocity, which is the second derivative of displacement, equals to acceleration. On the other hand, integral of acceleration equals to velocity and integral of velocity equals to displacement. You see here the derivative and integration play opposite rule here, where derivative of velocity equals to acceleration, and integral of acceleration is velocity. Derivative of displacement is velocity, but integral of velocity is displacement. Keep this equation in mind. We're gonna use them now. Working problem. A sports car at five meter with the acceleration three t plus one. What will be the velocity and displacement of the car at 6 seconds? What the statement says, the statement says that there is a sports car at displacement of 5 meters having acceleration 3t plus 1. We need to find the velocity and displacement of the car after 6 seconds. So let's do it. Solution. From the equation, velocity equals to integral of acceleration, where acceleration is 3t plus 1. Just substitute acceleration equals to 3t plus 1 here. Take its integration. Integral of 3t plus 1 equals to 3 times t square over 2 plus t plus c. This arbitrary constant will be 0 at the initial stage because time t is 0 initially. When I substitute t equals to 0, my value of c will be 0. Substitute c equals to 0 here. Uh, but what will be the velocity after 6 seconds? Simplify the equation, you will get 60 meters per second. This will be the velocity of the car after 6 seconds. Now to find the displacement of the car after 6 seconds. Displacement equals to integral of velocity, where v equals to 3 times t square over 2 plus t. Substitute v equals to 3 times t square over 2 plus t. Integral of 3 times t square over 2 plus t equals to 3 times t cube over 6 plus t square over 2 plus c. Substitute s equals to 5 here, initially, at t equals to 0, because it is the initial stage. When you simplify this equation, you will see will be 5. c is the arbitrary constant. So substitute c equals to 5 here, uh, but the displacement after 6 seconds will be 1, 3, 1. So this will be the displacement of the car after 6 seconds. Let me draw it graphically. This is the graph of 3t plus 1. At time it is 3 and at y-axis it is 1. Working problem. An armature of a DC motor runs at acceleration minus 40 into t squared plus 1 to the minus 2. Find the velocity as a function of t of the armature at t equals to 3 seconds. That is a DC motor an armature of a DC motor runs at acceleration of minus 40 into t squared plus 1 to the minus 2. As the armature starts, what will be the velocity after 3 seconds? Solution. From the equation, velocity equals to integral of acceleration, and where the acceleration is minus 40 over t squared plus 1 to the 2. We shift t squared plus 1 to the minus 2 to denominator to become t squared plus 1 to the plus 2. Let me do substitution take t squared plus 1 equals to u and take derivative on both sides which implies that 2 dt equals to du which implies that dt equals to du over 2. Substitute these values here. 
and took minus 40 over 2 out of the integration. Do integration and simplify it, you will get 20 times 1 over u plus c. Initially, at t equals to 0, the arbitrary constant will be 0. So just put c equals to 0 here. I substituted back the value of u, which was t squared plus 1. Arbitrary constant c is 0. And the velocity after 3 seconds will be 2 meter per second. This will be the velocity after 3 seconds. So you look here, we have already used u substitution process here. If you still don't remember use substitution process, go back and check the section use substitution technique. That's how we use use substitution integration in daily life. This is a typical example of indefinite integral in electrical sector with use substitution technique. Working problem. A bullet is fired from a rifle right upwards at velocity 370 feet per second. How long the bullet will go upward after 2 seconds? The statement says that someone fires a bullet from a rifle upward direction with 370 feet per second initial velocity. Now calculate it how long the bullet will go after 2 seconds which means that what will be the displacement of the bullet after 2 seconds. So let's calculate the displacement after 2 seconds. Solution. Velocity equals to integral of acceleration, uh, where acceleration is the gravitational acceleration, and it is negative 9.8, because the bullet is going in opposite direction of gravitation. So substitute the value of A equals to negative 9.8. Integral of negative 9.8 is minus 9.8 T plus C. Let me change 370 feet per second into meter per second. 370 feet per second equals to 112.78 meter per second. Now to calculate for arbitrary constant. Initially the velocity is 112.78 meter per second. Just substitute V equals to 112.78 to calculate the arbitrary constant value. So initially a T equals to 0. When I substitute T equals to 0 in this equation, my arbitrary constant C will be 112.78. So substitute C equals to 112.78. Initially at T equals to 0, the arbitrary constant was 112.78. This is my new equation for velocity. Now from the equation of the displacement, displacement equals to integral of velocity, where V equals to negative 9.8 T plus 112.78, which is here. Take its integration to have negative 9.8 times t square over 2 plus 112.78 t plus c. Let me calculate for arbitrary constant c here again. Initially displacement is 0. So just substitute s equals to 0 here. H t equals to 0. This is the initial stage. Simplify the equation you will get c equals to 0. So my arbitrary constant c is 0 here. But what will be the displacement after 2 seconds? Substitute t equals to 2 here. Simplify the equation, you will get 205.96 meter. This will be the displacement of the bullet after 2 seconds. Working problem. A current I equals to 8T milliamperes passes in a radio circuit. Find the amount of current after 0 0.07 seconds. A total current 8T milliamperes passes in a radio circuit. What will be the amount of current after 0 0.07 second? Which means that calculate the charge after 0 0.07 second. Let's do it. Solution. Total current is HT here. We are charge equals to integral of current. Substitute I equals to HT. Integral of HT is 8 times T square over 2 plus C. Initially the charge Q is 0 here, HT equals to 0. This is the initial stage. So my arbitrary constant C will be 0. Uh, but what will be the charge after 0 0.07 seconds? Substitute T equals to 0 0.07 plus 0. Plus 0 is the arbitrary constant. Simplify the equation, you will get 0 0.02 millicoulombs. This is the total amount of charge after 0 0.07 seconds. If the total amount of current 8 milliampere passes in a radio circuit. Applications of definite integral equations in daily life. Let's do some applications of definite integral in our daily life.
working problem find the area of a space under the curve f of x equals to x where the ground stretches up to 2 meters it's a very simple problem where we're going to find the area under the curve uh, when the ground stretches up to 2 meters solution the given function is f of x just put it here integral of x dx with the limits from a to b this is my area because of these limits it is called definite integral equation previously we did indefinite integral equations without limits here we have limits a and b so this is my function x let's draw it graphically this yellow line is the function x and the area under that yellow curve is our required space to calculate x is my f of x the limit starts from a to b we're going to calculate the area from a to b under this yellow curve this yellow curve is a function x suppose that a is 0 and b is 2 just put the value of a and b here which is 0 and 2 calculate the integration integral of x is x square over 2 Expand the limits, you will get 2 meters square. So there is total 2 meters square area under that yellow curve. It is one of the basic examples to calculate the area under the curve. You can go and search for many more problems in your daily life. Working problem. An industry manufactures products where the manufacturing cost is designed by 10 times t square plus 120 times t plus 3250 for 9 months. Estimate the average manufacturing cost per day or 9 months period. Each manufacturing cost has been designed by this mathematical model. Now we're going to estimate the average manufacturing cost per day or 9 months period solution from the formula of manufacturing cost per day equals to 1 over 9 minus 0 into integral of 9 t square plus 120 times t plus 3 to 5 0 i apply this formula here where my b is 9 and my a is 0 9 is 9 months take the integral to have 9 times t cube over 3 plus 120 times t square over 2 plus 3 to 5 0 times t expand the limits at the end you will get 36,297 per day this will be the manufacturing cost per day if you model it for 9 months period applications of definite integral equations in daily life Let's do some applications of definite integral in our daily life. Working problem. Find the area of a space under the curve f of x equals to x. Where the ground stretches up to 2 meters. It's a very simple problem where we're going to find the area under the curve uh, when the ground stretches up to 2 meters. Solution. The given function is f of x. Just put it here, integral of x dx, with the limits from a to b. This is my area. Because of these limits, it is called definite integral equation. Previously, we did indefinite integral equations without limits. Here, we have limits a and b. So, this is my function x. Let's draw it graphically. This yellow line is the function x. And the area under that yellow curve is our required space to calculate. x is my f of x. The limit starts from a to b. We're going to calculate the area from a to b under this yellow curve. This yellow curve is a function x. Suppose that a is 0 and b is 2. Just put the value of a and b here which is 0 and 2. Calculate the integration. Integral of x is x square over 2. Expand the limits, you will get 2 meters square. So there is total 2 meters square area under that yellow curve. It is one of the basic examples to calculate the area under the curve. 
you can go and search for many more problems in your daily life. Working problem. A person shares $5,000 each month for 10 years taking 5% interest. How much total amount will he has in 10 years? Someone shares 5,000 for 10 years with interest rate 5%. Now how much money he will get in 10 years? Solution. Amount after 10 months equals to e to the r times t into integral of c of t times e to the minus r times t dt with the limits from 0 to t. t is the time period. It is a simple formula that we use for annual estimation. R is the interest rate which is 5%. T is the time period which is 10 years. Substitute these values to have e to the 0 0.05 times 10 integral of 5000 times e to the minus 0 0.05 times t dt. Take the integral and expand the limits. At the end you will get 64,872.233. This will be his total amount in 10 years.